Are you trying to blackmail me? You can't keep this from my dad, Olivia. It'll be all over the papers tomorrow. The arrest will be, yes, but I don't think your parents necessarily need to know that you were the criminal mastermind. At least they don't have to hear it from me. If I do something for you in return, what? Stop being a little brat. Stop trying to cause trouble between me and your father, and I mean a sincere effort, Lizzie. Why? Because I'm a much better friend than I am an enemy. So do we have a deal? Okay, so it's like, what? If I don't cause any trouble for you and my dad, you won't repeat this bogus story about me being, what? The brainchild of this operation, according to the arresting officer? But that's total blackmail. I think maybe you should consider it a business deal. No, a deal would be if my parents never found out about any of this. Like you said before, it's going to hit the morning paper. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. Well, then, I guess there's nothing I can do for you. I know you don't believe it, but I really am on your side. Are you bailing us out tonight? Not yet, but I'm trying. Great. I'm trying, Great. honey. Fabulous, fabulous. Can we work on this together? I can't seem to get in touch with Philip. We're going to go get the attorney now. I'm going to talk to the DA tonight, and I will get you out of here, all right? The girls, hang in. We're going to get you out. Don't worry about me. Compared to my life, this is freedom. So just, you know, um, just call me when you get this message, or I'll call you and leave a yeah. message if I can find a lawyer. Right. Okay, Philip, thanks. Bye. Bye. I'm striking out, Frank. All right, uh, legal aid is on their way over there to talk to the girls, so um, they, they can't be released until they're charged, so that means morning. Uh, uh, you know, Olivia, it's an amazing thing. Every single time I set boundaries for a marina, she's just more and more determined to jump over them. It's kind of her job, Frank. She's a teenager. Yeah, well, what, what, what does that mean, though? What, what am I supposed to do? Never draw the line, never, never try to protect her, never try to teach her right from wrong. And I'm certainly not going to let her have her way the entire time just so that she'll like me. Oh, Olivia, you know, sometimes I think I'm just getting too old to do this all over again. Oh. Frank, you're not, you're not old, okay? And, um, isn't, isn't Marina your only child? I raised Harley when I was just a kid myself. Oh. This guy like Sam and me. And now I'm about to do it again. Oh, we're young. <laughs> we're strong. We can do this. Yeah, well, I think the hardest part is um, doing it alone. I hope I never have to find that out. You know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's Marina's 18th birthday. 18 years ago, I, I held this beautiful, tiny, screaming and kicking little baby girl, my daughter. And I looked down and I promised her that I always would take care of her. No matter how much she kicked, no matter how much she screamed, I would always be there for her and love her and protect her. And do you know where she's spending her 18th birthday? In jail. Not what you pictured, huh? No. Not at all. But you know what? I'll take one night in jail over finding her dead on the highway in Ben Reed's car. Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I don't know you that well, Frank, but I, I have spent time with Marina. She's really a great kid. She is. And I get her. You know, I, I know what it's like to want more out of the world than, than you're told you can have. Yeah, well, who doesn't? Marina. She's struggling. It's a really hard lesson, remember? So just go easy on her, Frank. So you don't break her spirit or... 
killer love for you. Are you okay? What happened? Gus I. Toro talked the DA out of filing. Okay. I'm gonna get you home. I can't wait to be back in my own room. Where's mom? She's in Chicago with your grandmother, but she should be back by now. Will you please go over there with me? She's gonna be so upset. Yeah. We're gonna go over everything together. I'm sorry that I wasn't here soon. It's okay. You're here. I knew the second you walked in, everything would be okay. Uh... 